how do you tell if these LEDs are flashing or not? We're gonna use what's called an O-scope or oscilloscope. I'm gonna show you how to do it very quickly. This is our microcontroller circuit and this is our O-scope. The O-scope shows voltage levels over time. Time is horizontal, voltage is up and down. And we use one of these little probes. You can actually pop the end of this off. It's called a witch's hat. It looks like a little witch's hat. And there's a probe in there. You can probe your circuit with that and see the waveform on the screen. Let's do it. I've put our witch's hat back on and just attached a little wire. We're gonna stick this wire in the positive, which is the 3.3 volts, and you see that we have 3.3. It's actually three volts, look at that. So this battery is at three volts. So you have graduations, one volt, two volt, three volts. Now let's check these LEDs. I'm going to take this out of the positive and put it in one of these LEDs and see, oh, look at that. See what happens there? There's actually a waveform on that. That means that this LED is flashing extremely fast. We can actually measure this too. So we go to cursor, we get these two cursors. You can adjust the cursors and you can grab one period of this waveform to measure it. And you can select which cursor you've got by selecting you know, A and B, move the other cursor over. And if you wanna grab one full period, you could take, for example, the falling edge of that signal and the falling edge of the next period of the signal. And it tells you here, down here, that it is 4.8 milliseconds, which happens to also be 208 Hertz. That's 208 times per second that this LED is flashing on and off. Let's actually slow this microcontroller circuit down and see if we can see it. Oh, look at that. Now we can see it with our naked eye and look what happened to the waveform. So we can adjust this horizontal time here until we can actually see the waveform. And look at this, it's actually moving like a very slow pulse train now. And that's in real life what it's doing. So you can see what's going on there on the O-scope and see what's happening in real life. Let's speed it up again. Speed it up this way. Oh, look how fast it is, see? The O-scope at this horizontal time setting just shows solid yellow. Let's catch up with it and zoom in. Got to go this way. It's going to speed up. There it is again. There's the waveform. So we use an O-scope to see what's going on in the circuit because in microcontroller circuits, these things can do stuff so fast that we cannot see it with a digital multimeter or with our naked eye. In this case, the LEDs look like they're on, solid on, but there's actually a waveform there. Use an O-scope to see that. I highly recommend buying an O-scope as one of your first items you purchase if you're starting a research and development business in electronics. Hey, look, it's my first O-scope I bought when I started the business in the mid 2000s. I spent over $3,000 for this thing. You can get such a better one now for like well under a thousand. So buy an inexpensive one from DigiKey. Don't buy one of these. That's just my two cents. Thanks so much for watching. Adios.